Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we check out the Everyman Hideout Pack, a chunky and burly 24 liter backpack that can be used for everyday carry and also minimalist travel. I'm Ed from Rush Faster and we do guides and walkthroughs bringing you better gear and better ways to carry. So if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, please consider subscribing and also hitting the bell. Let's dive in and check out the Everyman Hideout Pack. Everyman is a company based out of Iowa. They make carry gear, accessories, and also a number of little tools as well. Much like everything that you'll see in this video, if you're interested in checking it out, there will be links in the description below. Okay, so taking a look at the features of the hideout pack, just before that, I forgot to mention that we actually have done a product walkthrough on the Everyman 5-Way Commuter Pack, which is slightly different to this bag, can also be used for everyday carry as well as minimalist travel. If you're interested in that, check out the link above right now. But taking a look at the materials of the the hideout pack we have a 1680 denier ballistic nylon which is also PU lined for extra water resistance and just at the bottom here we have a slightly different material this is a PVC base on the front face of the bag we have just the tri zippered compartment which accesses the main area of the bag we'll take a look at that later on in the video but looking at the sides of the bag we have these compression straps here these compression straps allow the bag to just cinch down especially if you're not carrying too much inside this main area you can cinch it down to just keep the profile nice and slim we've got two compression straps here on this side and we've got another two on the other side and on this side as you can see there is a little slim hall handle here just if you want to carry the bag in briefcase mode on the top of the bag we also have a hall handle and this one is slightly chunkier it has this leather handle here with the everyman branding just on the top there if this handle is a bit too much for you you can simply take it off with velcro or alternatively, if you find yourself carrying the bag more often in briefcase mode, you can just take off this leather handle and pop it onto the side haul handle. Just really quickly, in terms of branding, it's fairly minimal with Everyman. There is an Everyman brand tag just there, and there's also a little bit of Everyman branding inside the bag. Turning to the back of the bag, this is where we have our harness system. So here we have wide, padded, and slightly contoured shoulder straps. They have an air mesh wicking on the base, so that'll prove useful for breathability and just wicking away any moisture. On the shoulder straps we have these large daisy chain webbings here that just allow you to attach any gear on so if you have a hero clip, a carabiner, anything like that you can just hook it on there if you want to accessorize gear in that way. And then in the middle we have a sternum strap. One thing that's really important to note about this bag is that it is an improvement from the previous gen model. It's kind of like a V2 of the previous hideout pack. It didn't have a sternum strap in the previous model. It didn't have a reinforced leather haul handle at the top there some of the hardware is changed and there are a few other features implemented in the bag so the sternum strap is one of those improvements it's a standard sternum strap you can adjust it and you can also adjust it along the webbing track on that daisy chain webbing you can also move it to the higher rings of the webbing if you wish and if you also prefer not to use a sternum strap you can also remove it entirely from the strap behind the shoulder straps is a luggage pass-through which was not on the previous model so this just allows you to streamline your travel carry if you're going traveling you're taking rolling luggage with you you can pop your telescopic handle on the rolling luggage through this pass-through and just streamline your carry in that way. And just on the side here, we have a slightly discreet pocket here that you can store in a passport or maybe some essentials that you want to keep secure like a wallet, some cash, papers, things like that. And then this zippered compartment behind is our device compartment. So it opens up clamshell, which is really useful. It makes it TSA approved, so you can just open this up when you're passing through the security checks. Here we have this Wooltech felt lining which helps to prevent your devices from being scratched. So we have a tablet sleeve and we have a laptop sleeve and they're both secured down by this one Velcro strap here. Both sleeves are reasonably padded. They're not padded too much, but they'll have enough protection to protect it from major bumps and falls. It is also slightly suspended from the base of the bag, so you have a little bit of buffer there for when you drop the bag on the base, or if you just set it down very aggressively. The laptop sleeve will be able to accommodate up to a 15 inch laptop. So that's all your devices in this compartment here. Next up with compartments, we have this small zippered compartment here. With the zippers, these zippers are GCC zippers. They have the chunky exposed teeth on the edge here. They run fairly smooth. They haven't had too many problems with them. And as for the zipper pulls, we have just leather pull tabs. So this compartment is a fleece lined compartment. It's nice and soft to the touch. I've only put in my truly wireless earphones. These are the Master and Dynamic MW08s. 
The next compartment is hidden underneath this weather flap here just for a bit of extra weather protection. And this is just a quick top access compartment. So I've got some sunglasses and I've also placed my Bellroy travel folio in there. One thing to keep in mind with both of these compartments is that they share the same dimension. So just keep that in mind when you're packing gear. If you choose to pack this compartment full, you won't have too much space in the fleece line compartment. So just keep that in mind. And just hidden in the top corner of this compartment, we have a little key leash, which you can attach your keys to. So a nice secure way of keeping your keys secure in your bag. I've just got my Orbit key attached there and you can simply press on this button to release the keys. And so you can take this out, access your door, whatever you need, and then clip it back on to keep it secure. Okay, so now getting into our main compartment where you'll be storing most of the gear in this bag. This compartment utilizes a tri-zipper design, which is typically seen on a lot of mystery ranch backpacks. It allows you to access your gear in a number of different ways. So you could simply open it down like so and just access it like a duffel, access your gear and stash and stuff everything like so. Or you could open it up from the sides and allow for a more traditional top access to the main compartment. But in this instance, I'm gonna open up all zippers so we can see everything inside. So just grabbing a few things out, I packed it out quite full. So this is my Bellroy Dop Kit Plus for all of my toiletries. This is the Evergood Civic Access Pouch for a lot of my tech. And then I've got one large Peak Design packing cube. And on the side here, I have a Lark self-cleaning. So hopefully you can see everything inside. There are a number of other little pockets for you to organize your smaller bits of gear. On both of these flaps, we have zippered compartments that allow you just to store some gear on the sides of the bag. These zippered compartments actually access the same compartment. It just allows you to access them either from the top if you're going for top loading or from the side if you're accessing it from the side. So you can open either of these zippers and you'll be accessing the same gear. So inside we have this nice clear mesh compartment so you can see what's inside those pockets. And in there I've got a Nightcore battery pack as well as a Kevlar charging cable from Nomad. A small little detail here is that there is a little cable port on that compartment down there. So you can actually port through your cable on the outside and then get access to any charging or maybe even earphones if you want to listen to music and store your music device inside the compartment. But this will most likely be used for charging. So you can put a portable charger in there, feed through the cable in that port, and then you can charge your phone while you're carrying your bag. On the other side, I haven't got too much packed in there. I've just got my Oz Air face mask. Now, if you really wanted to, you could store different sorts of gear inside this compartment. Perhaps if your bag's too full, you won't take a toiletry bag with you. You'll just store your toiletries inside these little mesh pockets. That could work really well. On the front here, we've got an everyman patch here, just a little bit of branding. And then we've got a pen slot in the middle. So I've got an everyman Grafton pen. As mentioned, everyman make a number of different accessories as well as their carry bag. So you can check that out. Link will be in the description below and on this side I just got a little torch from Olight. On this side I have my wallet, my Bellroy note sleeve wallet and then hopefully you can see there is a little keychain here which I've just attached a little torch from Nightcore just to see inside the internals of the bag. Behind that we have a little sleeve here. This is good for fitting maybe documents, papers, any magazines. This compartment actually goes to the entire base of the bag so you could store anything that's the size of an A4 workbook. Inside I've just got an A5 workbook and then behind that we have a zippered compartment which is much more shallower. It goes about halfway here in the bag and you can store other essentials that you just want to keep separated and divided from everything else. So now we're going to perform our rush faster beer capacity test to see how many tinny six packs can fit inside this bag. Based on the openness and the size of the bag we're probably going to fit four. fairly comfortable fit and then it looks like there's plenty of space at the top there okay so very easily very comfortably four tinny six packs can fit inside this 24 liter bag okay so this is the bag on the body for your reference I'm 510 
Well everyone, this is the hideout pack from Everyman. At 24 liters, it has a surprising amount of storage capacity. It's made of some really burly materials. It has that unconventional tri-zip design and it's versatile enough to be used in a number of different scenarios. Whether that's for everyday carry or as a minimalist travel bag or even as a bag for a light hike on the trail. If you like this video, you found it helpful and you're thinking about getting this bag, please consider using the affiliate links. Using the affiliate links really helps support the work of the channel at no extra cost to you. And if you want to support us further, let us know your thoughts about this bag in the comments below. Hit the like button, hit the bell, subscribe to see more carry gear walkthroughs if you haven't already, and also subscribe to our Rush Faster Carry Roundup newsletter. If you want to see more videos like this, check out some of the links on the screen at the end of this video. But for now, this has been the Everyman Hideout Pack. Take care and we'll see you next time.